We left the trailhead probably, I'm gonna say, around two o'clock. We ended up going probably about a mile and a half past Camp Pleasant. As sunlight began to fade, they hiked off trail another half mile and set up camp on a mossy finger ridge. And then all of a sudden we hear this crash and we just kind of stopped. And the only thing that I could think of at the time was maybe we spooked an elk because the crash was pretty big. It, it sounded heavy. As we're peering to the left, all of a sudden here comes a rock. And it lands about 10 feet to the left of us. It was deliberately thrown. And at that point, <laughs> time just kind of freezes. With a rock that size, was this an attack by an out-of-control hiker? Or a creature too scary to imagine? As we're processing that, another rock flies and lands, almost hits the other one, very accurately thrown, lands about 10, 12 feet to the left of us again. And then it's just like it got real at that moment. There was an overwhelming feeling of being in trouble, being in danger. Something felt very wrong. It was a very dreadful feeling. Get out of here, man. With no idea what they were up against, escape into the woods seemed the only option. Now we're in full-blown panic at this point. I'm running down this, this mountain. I don't know if you've ever been in a dream and something's chasing you, and you're having a difficult time moving. It was just, it was almost like everything was in slow motion and I could not get fast enough down that hill. I'm headed down the ridge at this point, and I remembered that I had a 357 in my backpack. Look, pull up, man. I stopped, pulled out my gun, and just very quickly looked back. <laughs> I saw a Bigfoot. And when I laid my eyes on this thing, everything froze. And I knew exactly what was throwing the rocks at us at that point. It was very large. The light was faded to a point to where I couldn't make out facial features, but I was absolutely, absolutely terrified. I can tell you without a doubt, that was one of the scariest moments of my life.